Now, I was inspired to start this um, recently after following the financial crisis. It was really, really, really painful for me to watch friends and family members, uh, primarily a lot of baby boomers, lose out on so much of their retirement. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we had such a big transition in the status quo for investing for middle class America, which is essentially, hey, go to your family's financial advisor and they'll put your money in a diversified portfolio of mutual funds. And that's how everybody got raped, essentially. I mean, Absolutely. you got screwed. And, yep. and, and so what's the alternative? And most people don't have an answer for that. The great part is, though, it also represents the single biggest opportunity in our lifetime to accumulate incredible amounts of wealth. I always like to point out to people that more people uh, became millionaires during the Great Depression than any other time in history. Absolutely. Um, but 95% of the population really suffered, while 5% who understood how to profit during that time made uh, an unbelievable amount of money. And so we have that opportunity again here today because that's the cycle that we're in again. It's nowhere near done. It's probably about one-third of the way through. And for most people, it's going to be a very difficult time. For other people who are in the know, it's going to be the most abundant time in your life. Mm -hmm. So how do you make sure you're on that winning side? And so that's all I've been studying for 2007, since 2007. And so I'm here to share that message with as many people as I can. That's really my new mission and goal in life. And uh, the more of us who can come out on the winning side of this, the better. Uh, many people who've known me for a while have been asking me how I've managed to predict so many things that have happened with the economy over the past few years and how I've managed to make a small fortune in the process while most people have lost a big piece of their portfolio or a substantial amount of their retirement I'm savings. I'm going to show you exactly how I've managed to do that. I've been studying the economy and investing like a madman since 2007 once I learned about the inevitable implosion of the mortgage industry, which is actually just one of many major issues that are going to have a huge impact on your financial position. The reason for the haste for me is that the biggest disasters always bring about the biggest opportunities which is why more people became millionaires during the last great depression than any other time in history so the only difference between then and today is that the scope of this disaster and the scope of the opportunity for people like you and I is even greater so here's how I knew this was coming since the beginning of recorded history, every major empire like America has gone through a seven-stage life cycle, and you can actually track that by the state of its currency. So in stage number one, a country starts out with good money, which is either gold or backed by gold. So we're going to write that down real fast, which is good money. And then you move on to stage number two, and as a nation develops economically and socially, it begins to take on more and more economic burdens, adding layer upon layer of public works projects and social programs, okay? So we're going to do social programs for stage number two, and that obviously brings us to stage number three. As that nation and its economic affluence grows, so does its political influence around the world, and it increases expenditures to fund a massive military, okay? So we're going to put massive military for stage three. And then in stage four, eventually, it puts that military to use and expenditures explode. We saw this, obviously, in the case of World War II, Vietnam, World War I for Germany. Uh, we all get the point there. So we're going to do expenses go way up thanks to the military costs and that brings us to stage number five to fund those wars the, which are essentially the costliest of man's endeavors it has to steal the wealth of its people by replacing their money with currency that can be created in unlimited quantities now for number five let's put fiat right there and that essentially means uh, money that is not backed by anything. It's just paper currency. Now, finally, the wealth transfer caused by this expansion of the currency supply is felt by the population as severe consumer price inflation, and that triggers a loss in the faith of the currency. Now, the United States went to a fiat currency and left the gold standard uh, essentially back in 1971 under President Nixon, and he did that to help pay for Vietnam. So as we've seen, we've followed 
this seven stage progression very closely. So that brings us to stage number six, which is again, loss in faith, excuse me, loss of faith in the currency. And then that finally that brings us to stage number seven. And essentially at this point, an en masse movement out of the currency into precious metals and other tangible assets and commodities takes place. The currency collapses and massive wealth is transferred to those who had enough foresight to position their money into the right asset class beforehand. Now we're going to put right here, end of currency and inflation. All right, so these are the seven stages, and we are right here between stage number six and stage number seven. Now, the primary symptom of stage number six is price inflation, and I don't know if you've noted this, this or not, or if you've seen the headlines, uh, but during the calendar year of 2010 alone, we've already seen a massive spike in the average commodity price uh, of food, which on average increased by 46% in that 12-month period alone. Here already in 2011, we've seen record prices for rice and wheat. Uh, we've seen Egypt <laughs> essentially collapse because of food prices and food inflation. So we are clearly right here, and this is due to everything that Ben Bernanke and the Federal Reserve has been doing uh, with the U.S. dollar and our currency. So knowing this back in 2007, I was able to position my money into certain asset classes that increased in value as the economy and the dollar sank, helping me earn a return of around 280% while most of the rest of the world lost 30 to 40%. And if history is any indicator, I expect that 280% to end up closer to 28,000% by the time this is all over. Here's the critical piece to pay attention to. The move from stage six to stage number seven um, which has already begun, is going to represent the largest transfer of wealth in the history of mankind from people who don't understand what's going on to the few who do. So if you just stand still and keep doing what you've been doing, stage number seven represents a bankruptcy for you. I'm sorry to say, but make no mistake about it, this gap right here represents the opportunity of your lifetime.